I am totally stoked about the American dream that I visualize for myself and for everybody else. The number one thing that I've learned hosting cross group networking events is my own personal responsibility, which I accept that I feel we have to all reboot our mindset, our business mindset for what, where we are right now. We are in a new normal reality of business. I'm going to move forward with my American dream with an attitude of gratitude for everything I have left. I've lost a lot. Many people have. So what? That's life. It's not a matter of how much we've lost, how much we've gained, how much we still have, and how much we have to move forward into this exciting realm of the new reality of business and how we can manifest abundance. My American dream is to surround myself with people who want to manifest abundance all around us, more affluence, more prosperity, more freedom, and doing it all with a positive mindset and accountability for all of us to stay positive moving forward into this new reality. That's my American dream for myself and everybody I associate with. Awesome. Great. Joel, you were in my last magazine ad that we had before a networking event. And tell me a little bit about the experience of that and what you saw as a result. After the ad ran, our monthly networking event, uh, Speed Networking Expo, increased by 30%. I think we went from like 95 people to about 130 people. That just shows me the power of media, the power of spreading our message, our word of helping people grow their business and and uh, emphasizing the golden rule of uniting people in terms of what we do uh, in this uh, uh, community and how we're here to support others that really want to be a part of this amazing organization. Thank you, Joel. And, and one more thing about that. People always tell me, Mike, I meet the most amazing people at your meetings, like night and day. They, they like, act like the people that attend our meetings are like head and shoulders above. Yes. And I think it's because of are attracting affluent people. They are smart, mm -hmm. they're educated, they're capable, they're competent. So not only do they have the money to afford to hire people at the level they need to be hired at to make money, but they're more delightful to work with. Tell me a little but, bit about that. Yeah, I mean, it's also about the energy of what it is that we are putting out. When you put out love, when you put out support, when you put out, you know, just being there genuinely and caring about other people, that's what you're gonna attract. And we're attracting these types of people here, Mike, and you're the leader of this. And, and I am just uh, blown away by how much we've grown, but even more importantly, about the quality of people we're bringing into this organization. That's the key to me. It's not the size, it's the quality and meeting the right people that can yes. really help you move forward, keep your mind set up, stay keeping you positive, hiring you, working with you. That really is what it's all about for me. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more.